Moshe Newman. I'm uh, one of the painters of this mural, the person who designed it. And I painted other murals in Berkeley, and I also am a lawyer who represents poor people. I dropped out of graduate school to become a painter. Um, worked in this in the Lower East Side of New York, my apartment painting murals, easel painting murals. And then got all caught up in sort of the revolutionary spirit of the 60s and sort of felt that painting little uh, little squares of canvas just wasn't as important as changing the world. And this is a way to combine my interest in the politics and what's happening on the street and do it publicly and large. So I decided I wanted to be a mural painter. I was a lousy painter and a lousy mural painter at the time. And there was no nothing that would tell you that all of these events have basically have created the identity of Berkeley as a city that stands for something progressive. None of that was represented in public. There was no memorial. The university is a place turning out cogs and the wheels of the system. You see the sort of blockheads coming out, but then you see all of this people who are refusing to be those blockheads and engaging in all of this, you know, intense um, fervor of revolutionary activity and opposition. In some ways, the sense of, at the time, the system really was falling down, crumbling. This is the, the, the cultural part of the, the part where there was, there was this whole counterculture, the dropping out of the people, all of this sort of breaking out of norms and conventions. You have a person who's high on acid, kind of dissolving, and you have people playing music, the Hare Krishna folks who are still here, I just saw them yesterday. Fire hydrant is a fire hydrant that you can see across the street, and it's actually opened up by these people. The portraits of the people who opened up the fire hydrant, flooding the streets. It was a major battle. That gas mask that you see up there, here is crumbled, broken, the, the electrical lines that attach to it there that keep it alive have been cut and severed. Murals are a lot like icebergs, sort of a lot of the work of it is done beforehand mm -hmm. of designing and figuring out what, you know, how to tell the story. A few years ago, it was declared a landmark of the city of Berkeley.